Hey guys, Sav here. Thanks for tuning in to the Daily Breather. Uh, the candles are lit, and they are sending some positive energy and light to all the people struggling right now. So, if you have any candles at home, uh, you can go ahead and light them too, and we can really maximize that positive energy and send it out to anybody who's really going through it today. So, it's kind of a nice day though. There's uh, the promise of rain around the corner. And uh, you can kind of hear the birds trying to figure out what to do about it. So it's kind of fun. Uh, let's take a few deep breaths. So we're going to straighten our spine. It's my favorite part. I'm not really bad at it. I just watch all the time. Um, we're going to take some deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth uh, with that straight spine and feel the air kind of going into our stomachs. I've got this diaphragm area that vocalists really should be paying attention to. And I just didn't for a while, but... Um, now that I am aware of my diaphragm, life is a little bit easier. So, uh, we'll take a deep breath. Uh, count down from three. Three, two, one, in. And out. Let's do one more. Three, two, one. And out. Cool. If you're feeling it, um, go ahead and take a second to put something that you're grateful for in the comments. Uh, but today I'm grateful for old journals. I just went through mine from 2018 and uh, you really put things into perspective for me. I was reading about a 26-hour ordeal in which we tried to fly out of Peoria, Illinois during a blizzard and our flight was canceled twice on top of everything. We tried to get a toasted bagel but they didn't have a toaster so they asked if we wanted it microwaved and out of curiosity we said yes and they put the put the shrink-wrapped bagel in the microwave without removing the shrink wrap. So I'm just saying that that was kind of a low moment, and um, it's all about perspective. So I'm grateful for old journals, kind of reminding me of the things that I miss and the things I still have and um, the craziness that comes with uh, life in general. Just dropped my pick and my guitar. <gasps> Wait, but I dropped it in the street. You guys just witnessed a rare moment in which a guitarist did not drop the pick inside the guitar, but in the string, so I was able to still have it. That was great and hilarious. Okay. Um, wow, y'all have so many good, grateful things. I am not wearing a Monday shirt. I'm wearing a Blondie shirt, but um, it is Saturday, so <laughs> just to clarify what day of the week it is, I honestly feel you. I don't I don't know half the time. I rely on Michael. Um, today I'm going to introduce you to an artist named Anna Tibble. She's a really incredible writer. Some of you may know her as probably one of the most poetic writers out there. And NPR definitely knows what's up. She's incredible. Um, and she put out an album called The Question. So I thought I'd play the title track for you today. And it goes like this, kind of. I'm going to do my very best. Backlit, noble, in the low light of the window, you were leaning on the edge. And the high rises and billboards for perfume and call girls, the steam above the dark road, the smoke around your head. And I knew you by description, the tall tales, the pictures. The sore hair and your lipstick, the smell of coming rain. And I wanted to remain there, a voyeur, a stranger, below you in the night air, just waiting to be changed.
the deal you don't believe. And Bible in a lock drawer, the past you gave it up for, the hymnal and the comfort in exchange for living free. Dancing when you dream And the neighbors never mention The woman they see leaving Is the man who works the morning shift Selling gasoline So shout out to Tom Reed for sending me this book in the mail. It's called The One Straw Revolution by Masanobu Fukuoka. And uh, there we go. It's sort of a mishmash manifesto about farming and eating and the limits of human knowledge. And he's a philosopher and a microbiologist and an agricultural scientist. So he is um, a really important figure in that world. And he's a big proponent of natural farming or what he calls do-nothing farming. So he was running all these experiments, um, but they were halted by World War II. Afterwards, he picked them back up again, and um, he established five principles of natural farming, which is no powered machines, minimal weed suppression, no pesticides, and no pruning of fruit trees. And I missed one. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I totally missed one. Um, you'll have to read the book to find out what the fifth one is. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Right, here it is. It says, no power machines, no prepared fertilizers, there's minimal weed suppression, no pesticides, and no pruning of trees, fruit trees. There we go. I know what I'm doing. Um, and he also reinvented and advanced clay seed balls, which I spent a lot of time looking into, actually. It's like this ancient practice where the seeds are all mixed together, like different seeds are mixed together in compost or hummus, and then you roll them within clay um, to form actual balls, and it's really good for gorilla farming when you're trying to, like, plant a bunch of seeds really quickly at once, so, um, even if you don't really think, like, natural farming is for you, there's some legitimately good philosophic advice in this book, and, uh, maybe think of natural farming, like, a direct applicable metaphor <laughs> to you or something, I don't know, um, honestly, I think any book is worth reading, you don't have to believe what it says to learn something, so, um, I highly recommend it, you know, it's super cool. So thanks, Tom. Uh, feel free to pick up this book from Brilliant Books. Our recommendation, uh, recommendation landing page is in the description of this video. There's a link to it. And I just want to say that yesterday um, we had a drawing. Uh, we had you guys share a live stream which entered people into a drawing to have a book mailed to you. And Rochelle Clarissa Watkins wins this round. So Rochelle, uh, if you can hear me, if you're out there, um, shoot us a DM, um, in Facebook and with, with your shipping address and we'll get you the book and we'll have a couple more drawings. Um, so stay tuned on the daily breathers and we'll keep this going. 
Um, also, yesterday, Michigan and again passed 2 million streams on Spotify. So thank you so much for that. It's so crazy um, to think about. We really appreciate y'all. Um, thanks for tuning in. And Katie, we'll see you tomorrow. And Michael, we'll see you Monday.